صحيحه So I know from past experiences that there are some households, maybe more than some, I don't really know, that still receive really horrible tasting water from their taps. And that could give like a really sort of chemically taste or even chalk. And that's due to things like the pipes and where your house is built and what your house is built on. And there's a whole multitude of things that can really affect the water taste from your taps in your home. Now, I think I have found a product for you, which looks at cleaning up that water, looks to filtering it before you can drink. So a company reached out to us called Zero Water, which sent through their water filtration drug. What the Zero Water does, it filters and removes the impurities that other filters leave behind. So when they say that, they're talking about things like a Brita filter that you'd usually find in a fridge. The Zero Water five-stage filters remove 99.6 of total dissolved solids based on the EPA certified lab tests, while conventional two-stage filters remove less than 50%. Ideally, what they're trying to say is that their filters will remove a lot more junk and a lot more crud from your water from your taps than other branded filters would. And I suppose that means the filters that you can get specially built for your taps or the ones that you buy in the shops for your jugs. I think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to open up this box and really put this to the test. Okay, so inside you get zero water, get more out of your water. Inside you will find what's different about zero water, what to expect during usage and big savings on future purchases. All right, so you've got some future purchases at some vouchers at the back there. The technology in this thing, zero water's five stage advanced rotation, we've read that, it works harder it may filter slower as the five stage technology works harder to remove more impurities from your tap water and removes 18,000 milligrams of impurity. While completely safe, you may notice a citrusy smell or taste upon filter exhaustion. Filters should be replaced at this time and not used any longer. So the filters inside you have to replace, but it doesn't suppose you only replace it. It doesn't actually say anything more accurate than that. You get a citrusy smell, replace your filter. <laughs> citrusy smell or citrusy taste, then you have to remove your filter. Filter life varies by TDS level. Determine the TDS level in your tap water and use the chart below to estimate the life of your filter. If your products include a TDS digital meter determined by your TDS test by testing your tap water. If your product includes a light up indicator, use the map below or visit zerowater.com for the estimated TDS level in your neighborhood. Now that's actually given, me a, given us a map of the USA as you can see right there. So that's no mention of the UK and what kind of TDS level I live in. There is the graph underneath. So you've got blue through to red, would you call that? Maybe dark brown. Blue is meets FDA definitions of purified bottled water. And the dark brown is the highest TDS water expect lower capacity when reducing your water to squares. So I don't know. And then again, some big savings on there. Okay, so nothing too out of the ordinary. It looks like a, like a standard filtered jug that you usually find from someone like Britta. Okay, so it actually does come with it, that TDS reader. You've got this electric TDS reader, which I'm assuming goes straight into the water that you want to, that you want to test. And then inside, oh, that's a chunky filter. It's very heavy. So there's a screw on there. And if we pull this out, let's pull out all the points. Actually, that might come with some important instructions to get this set up. Knowing from previous attempts at things I don't really know much about, that's probably a good idea to read. So, remove the lid and the reservoir from top of the pitcher and remove filter from packaging. Unscrew the protective blue cap. Twist the filter into the bottom of the reservoir so the filter twists into here. We have one filter installed. Fill the reservoir by pouring filling with cold water tap directly into the filter and place on top. I'm thinking you fill the water up here, but you can't have much, there's not much water actually that, can, that can actually hold in that top. What I'm gonna do is let me go and get some water and uh, we'll uh, give it a test now. Okay, so I'm gonna put a few pints of water in here. So that's one pint of water. Okay, so that top reservoir area fills about two and a half pints of water. Now we were told to leave that, wait for it to drip through as if, as you can see, it's already starting to come through into the main body. 
So let's put that off to one side for now. Okay, so second off, I wanna test this TDS water quality meter. For water quality, remove cap, turn on submerging water, change filter when it reads 006 or higher. So how do I turn this on? Okay, so that's turned on. Let me go and get some more water. Okay, so I'm just gonna go a pint of water from the sink from my kitchen just to test the TDS levels of this water. Now it's telling me that I have to remove the cap on here and then submerge into the water. There is a warning on here that says change filter when it reads 0, 0, 006 or higher. But when I submerge it into the water, mine says 306, so I don't know if that's if that's bad. So looking at this water quality, I'm actually in the higher end of the scale. If you can see the scale on here, I'm down here. This is where my house is at. This is the quality of water that they're pumping through my system. So I probably would benefit from this water filter. That says exceptionally high containment level. Most users will notice shorter filter life. So is this just not gonna last very long at all? I don't know. I'm interested to know what that tastes like because I drink this water all the time. I don't know if three, what was it? Three, oh, it's 313 now. 313 TDS level is unhealthy. <laughs> am I going to, am I going to die? Am I going to get some kind of chronic illness from the water quality that's being pumped through? my system. Let me go and get rid of this, let me pour some water out and we'll have a taste. So now that filters through, that looks as if there's quite a bit of water still in there. So let's pour that out. Now, actually, let's have a taste first. <laughs> there's a definite taste difference between my tap water and this filtered water I don't know whether I don't know whether I like it it's almost like the water's just been given a sour taste now I don't know if that's because the filter's brand new I've just cracked open a brand new filter for this jug but it's very strange mm. but it'll be interesting to see what level this is at now so let's put that in for a little while. That's saying 001. So that must mean, so that's actually saying 001. So if we look at the map again, that means FDA definition of purified bottled water. That's right at the top on the map, this blue, blue one here. And there's only a few places in North America that actually hit that kind of FDA definition. Everyone else is quite bad. Mm. One feature I didn't show you before because I bought it is that on the back there's this little button here. Now you can put that on the edge of your kitchen counter. Put your two fingers here and fill your water glass up from the bottom. So it's quite quite handy because I, I suppose if you fill this jug right up to the top, it's it's going to uh, it's going to be quite heavy. All right, I'm not wasting it for that. Maybe there's a bit of filter, filtration in there, I don't know, maybe. Let's try. Mm, so again, it, it tastes... It tastes better, but it's not still... I suppose I've been, I've gotten used to drinking the uh, tap water for so long, which just tastes... See, I, <laughs> So it's hard, it's hard now to determine what tastes like chemicals and what is meant to be the healthier type of water. And I know this is, it just tastes so chemically now, to me anyway. I've, I've just gotten used, so used to drinking the um, water from the tap that from, from what it said on this, this meter, it's so chemically induced that this is so strange tasting, I, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. Mm. But still, it tastes a little bit better than the first set. And I suppose it's something I could get used to as well, but you just have to take it as read that you are getting a healthier drink of water. I mean, it's a chunk, it's, it is, it's a chunky bit of kit as well. It's huge, and water filter's huge, and it produces healthy water. What more do you want? Especially if you're gonna be filling up your plastic water bottles as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I do like this. This is, yeah, it's tasty, it's good. 
Oh, another thing as well, I don't know if uh, this would work making things like cups of tea or coffee and whether having healthy water will affect that because you're technically boiling the water so with the chemicals disappearing. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this quick video on the Zero Water Water Filter Jug. If you like the video then do hit that like button, please do subscribe to keep up with all of our latest technology and gaming videos as well. Leave a comment down below and tell us what you think of this type of product and whether you're using a Brita filter and whether you can taste the difference between tap water and this type of water as well and which you do prefer because that would be very interesting to know is what people are actually preferring because if they're trying to push products like this to become healthier and to have healthier water, are people just ignoring them because they're happy with the water from their tap already or are people just they just don't care enough about the water i don't know my science but thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video